While some dogs are neutered to treat a life-threatening condition, many healthy dogs undergo surgery to limit hypothetical future health risks. In other words, most dogs who are neutered don't have cancer and they don't have a life-threatening uterine infection. Prophylactic surgery is justified because, compared with therapeutic neutering, it's often a smaller, lower-risk operation. But what if rather than reducing long-term health risks, neutering achieved the opposite? To make a truly informed choice about dog neutering, we must weigh the proven risks against the proven benefits. Scientific facts must be carefully distinguished from conjecture. Now currently, informed choice is compromised because fundamental flaws in the published literature have been painted over. So to address the balance, I've applied my specialist training in risk analysis to the scientific literature on dog neutering. Here are the seven key questions I'll answer. Question one. What's the impact of neutering on lifespan? Two, does neutering increase the risk of joint diseases like hip dysplasia and elbow dysplasia? Question three, are neutered dogs more or less likely to develop cancer? Four, are neutered females more likely to develop urinary incontinence? Five, does castration improve undesirable behaviors or could it actually worsen them? Question six, should the veterinary profession replace surgical castration with chemical castration? And finally, question seven, what are the potential benefits of contraception gene therapy?